church family this is margie Mayer. just want to spend a couple minutes with the devo don't know if you're going to be watching it the morning the afternoon or the evening but i just pray that the lord would bless you through it and uh, he would give me the the right words and the right um intentions and the words that i say um, before we begin let's say a really quick prayer Lord, I just want to thank you for our church family and those people that you put around us that love us and um, come alongside of us. Um, the thing that I see in my mind is like a bowling and we have those little bumper bumpers on the, the gutters. And Lord, I just pray that we can come together and help each other to stay um, in our lane and going towards you. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, my title today is Finish Well. Um, I've been reading through the Bible in a chronological um, way, and I just started in 1 Samuel. So I had gone through some of the overview and the book, uh, how it narrates in 1 Samuel. It's a, a book of great beginnings and tragic endings. As we know, if you've ever watched a track meet, that some of the athletes begin their race with a great start and have um, faltered by losing their strength and have faded to the middle of the pack or haven't even finished at all. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 9.24 in the New King James, it says, Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but only one person gets the prize? Run in such a way that you may obtain it. Winning a race requires purpose and discipline. Paul uses this illustration to explain that the Christian life takes work. It takes self-discipline and grueling preparation. As a Christian, we run towards our heavenly reward. God desires genuine devotion of each person's mind and heart um, and for each of us to finish well. He, des he desires that all of our work and worship would be motivated by a genuine, heartfelt devotion to Him. Something that I believe we need in our lives is a great crowd or a great crowd of believers um, to help us to keep us accountable to our commitments to each other and to the Lord. Hebrews 12.1 is in the New Living Translation and 2a will be in the New King James Version. It says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race that God has set before us. And 2A in New King James is looking to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. The Christian life um, involves hard work. It requires for us, it, it requires us to give up whatever endangers our relationship with God to run patiently and to struggle against the sin with the help and the power of the Holy Spirit. To live effectively, we must keep our eyes on Jesus. Remember, we do not have to be like those in 1 Samuel who started out strong but their finish was weak. We have such a collection of believers and friends to keep us in our lane. Their faithfulness is a constant encouragement to us and us to them. So let's finish strong together. Let's pray. Again, Lord, I just want to thank you for um, the family that you have surrounded us with that loves us so much and loves you, first of all, and that want we want to finish um, strong. We want our life to be a witness for you and that um, people would see that our strength does come from you. And we ask it in Jesus' name. 